If you or someone you know has been prescribed an SSRI such as Prozac, Paxil, or Zoloft, or any other medication for depression or another condition, then you're not alone. SSRIs, or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, are the most commonly prescribed antidepressants in the world. I'm Dr. Charles DiBattista, a professor of psychiatry and behavioral sciences, and the director of the Depression Research Clinic at Stanford University. This video is all about selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs. Join me as I explain what they are, what they treat, how effective they are, as well as what side effects to expect. What are the SSRIs and how do they work? SSRIs are a class of antidepressants. The exact mechanism of how SSRIs work is really not known. However, it is believed that SSRIs work by increasing the level of serotonin in the brain. Serotonin is a chemical messenger that allows brain cells to communicate with each other and plays an important role in mood, temperature regulation, sleep, learning, sexual behavior, and hunger, among other things. Depression and anxiety are thought to be related to an imbalance of serotonin in the brain. Normally, serotonin is released in the space between two brain cells and is quickly scooped up by a protein on the surface of the brain cell called a serotonin transporter. As the name suggests, a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor blocks or blunts the ability of that transporter to scoop the serotonin back into the cell. As more serotonin is available, it improves the communication between cells, and this is thought to be related to an improvement in mood. What are the SSRIs used for? Their primary use is to treat major or clinical depression, but SSRIs are also effective in treating a variety of other conditions, most commonly anxiety disorders like panic disorder. Why are the SSRIs so commonly prescribed? SSRIs have some important advantages over other antidepressants. For example, unlike many antidepressants that require gradual dose adjustment over time to find what works best for an individual, with SSRIs, the starting dose is usually the one that works. Another advantage is that the drugs tend to be well tolerated in most people, and unlike earlier antidepressants, tend to be safer in overdose. In addition, SSRIs are generically available, so they're quite inexpensive. How effective are the SSRIs? Up to two-thirds of people with depression experience relief with SSRIs, and they may be even more effective in the treatment of some anxiety disorders than in the treatment of depression. SSRIs also reduce the chance of relapse of anxiety or depression when taken long-term. What are the side effects of the SSRIs? Although SSRIs are well tolerated by most people, they can have side effects. For example, SSRIs can produce gastrointestinal symptoms such as nausea, upset stomach, diarrhea, and constipation. The good news is that the body usually adapts to these side effects after a week or two, and taking the medication with food often helps. Serotonin plays an important role in sexual function, and medications such as the SSRIs that enhance serotonin levels can produce sexual side effects. These include loss of libido, lowered ability to achieve orgasm, and more rarely, erectile dysfunction. The sexual side effects sometimes get better on their own and sometimes persist while the person's on the medication. Some SSRIs, like Paxil, may be more likely to cause sexual side effects than other SSRIs. If sexual side effects are persistent or more severe, lowering the dose or switching to an antidepressant that's not serotonergic, such as Welbutrin or Bupropion, is often helpful. SSRIs are less likely to cause weight gain than other antidepressants, like amitriptyline or mirtazapine. Still, some people do gain weight on them. Medications such as Paxil and Celexa may be somewhat more likely to cause weight gain than other SSRIs, while Prozac is often associated with modest weight loss over time. The average weight gain over a year across all the SSRIs is about a kilogram or about two pounds. While exercise and diet clearly help, if a person gains substantial weight, they may need to change to a different antidepressant, such as Prozac or Welbutrin, that are less associated with weight gain. 
There are some SSRIs that can cause insomnia or the opposite, extreme daytime tiredness. To manage these side effects, some SSRIs like Prozac will need to be taken in the morning, while others such as Paxil that are more sedating are generally best taken at night. Other common side effects can include headaches, particularly in the first weeks of treatment, restlessness, and dizziness. Always discuss the side effects with your medical professional so that you can find a medication that works best for you. How long does it take for an SSRI to work? SSRIs, like most antidepressants, don't work immediately. It takes about four to eight weeks at a therapeutic dose to see their maximum effect. How long do you need to take an SSRI? The answer to this depends on the condition, but generally you need to take an SSRI for a minimum of six months after the condition is under control or in remission. Since it can take two months or more to get symptoms under control, this means taking an SSRI for a minimum of eight to 12 months. For those who have recurring depression or anxiety, staying on the SSRI long-term can help prevent recurrences. Remember that an SSRI should only be stopped gradually and under the care of a supervising clinician. Stopping the medication too soon or abruptly can cause a relapse or a discontinuation syndrome. Sudden discontinuation results in symptoms such as dizziness, unusual sensations like brain zaps, and flu-like symptoms. SSRIs are commonly prescribed and generally work well for most people. If you are struggling with any side effects, don't feel as though the medication is working, or have questions about the medication, reach out to your medical professional. This video is intended as educational content and not intended to replace care by a professional. For treatment-related questions, please be sure to contact your local care team and depression expert. If you're in crisis or having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255 or contact the crisis text line by texting TALK, T-A-L-K, to 741-741.